Hello, my name is Dustin Wallace, and I want to explain to you uh, why I consider myself to be your best option for home inspector in Lake Sonoma, Mendocino, Napa, and other neighboring counties. I want to first thank you for uh, clicking on my website, and uh, this video is going to explain to you um, the various items and tools I used up for the inspection, and why I'm the why I consider myself the best option for you. So first and foremost, I think there's a misunderstanding about home inspectors. Um, the home inspection program is not right is not required in California, and home inspectors are not regulated. I am a second generation licensed general contractor and certified home inspector. Um, which is the same 80 hour certification that uh, the other home inspectors got. The difference is that I actually built houses my entire life, um, which I believe makes you a much better inspector if, because the reality is I know what goes on between the walls most of the time. And um, I've been building houses since I was in diapers. My dad is still swinging hammers. So probably wondering why I'm not building houses anymore or why I do home inspections full time. Um, first and foremost, my wife's a, uh, an ER nurse and uh, when COVID blew up um, I can't build houses 25 hours a week with a three-year-old um, and then at the time he was a year and a half old so I've been doing this on the side for years but I felt like this was the best option for me to also utilize my skills from the years I built been building houses and translate it to uh, being a good service for whoever's hiring me um, I got over 115 five-star reviews on Google, over 100 within the last year. So um, those explain those will speak for themselves. So um, also, I think that what is also something important for me to explain that I do offer is that I I offer a YouTube walkthrough video for free if you cannot be there for the inspection, and I've done it hundreds of times. Um, I, they're about 20 minutes long, and I'll do even a roof diagram video for you. So right now I'm going to show you some of the items that I use um, for the inspections. Um, you've probably seen them quite a bit, a lot of them. Let me just pull them out of my bag. And before I get into that, I'll also tell you that I also charge less than everyone. Um, my reports are also all typed out, no automated responses. I... Um, I uh, also include my subcontract referrals that I've gained um, trust with for over 30 years in Lake County. So not only do you get me as a general contractor to do your inspection, which I am the only licensed general contractor, certified home inspector in all the counties I serve. So that's very important for you to know because I am licensed and home inspectors are not licensed. So if something happens and I'm wrong, I'm liable for the Contra State License Board. So. It's, it's very important to distinguish that when it comes to picking your inspector. Um, of course, we have our flashlights. Um, you know, carbon monoxide. Um, here, it'll be you know propane and natural gas detector. Um, I, these are basic stuff that we all see. We have, I mean, I still have my, I have my thermostat readers, which will tell you how, um, basically, how efficient your ducting system is. Um, thermo reader right here, um, infrared reader for leaks. Um, but I want to show you the other important things. So right here, I have a roof drone. It's very standard. It's a DJ Mavic. Um, I enjoy it because I can actually inspect gutters easily. You can um, also see above chimney chases and stuff like that where you can't physically get into. And I can actually pretty much get to the point where I can get down to about a foot or even six inches from the roof line. So let's start with that. I'll show you. I'm going to start it off. I'm going to put it over here. Actually, I'll put it on the ground. This is the, an invention I built right here. So I'm going to do, first, I use a different tablet to run it. So we're going to go fly. You'll see it pull up right here. See? So, I want to show you. I'm going to apply it over here to this roof line right here. And what I'm trying to show you is, and give it one second, I'll pull up the other tablet next to it. 
It's just, this is just a pasture cover I built for my horses. So, this right here. What I do is I put a full diagram roof so I can actually show you areas of concern from the actual aerial point of view. And then what I'll do is I'll also do an actual video of the roof for you. So we're going to bring this back. See, I'll try to show you based on this as, a, as an example. But what's to say you cannot physically get right there. I'll pull him to you. All right, sorry. Right there without using a drone. You can use a ladder, but when you're up two stories, it's going to be really hard to do that. And my whole point is that this is just a fair description or uh, visual of the conditions of your gutters. Landing. So I'm going to land it right now. Okay. I also want to explain to, um, what's to say you're in a crawl space and you can't physically fit through it. So I decided about six months ago to make something that drives through crawl spaces at areas this small. And I have actually built this tank. Um, it's got cameras, lights all over, all diagrammed designed to flash at certain locations of the joist members, girders, and such, and perimeter foundation walls. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to show you a video off my phone, and you can see it right here. See? All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to just drive it on my truck. Let's see. See how close I can get to things? I'm, again, I'm trying to drive this, you know, with... My whole point is that I can do a 60 minute video. Let me go grab that real quick. 60, no, sorry, I'll, I could do a 60 minute video, but that'd be kind of boring. Uh, 60 photos in two minutes in your crawl space. So, let me ask you, um, why would you ever pick a home inspector who has never had any experience building a house over a licensed general contractor? I believe realtors at some times will want that because I am able to do something that home inspectors cannot do and this is what drives realtors nuts. Um, I could put numbers on reports for price reductions and credits and I've done it and I've put in over $80,000 to $180,000 on reports that has lowered the whole entire price value of a house. Let's say you roof a shot, I will put down a number and I will have it backed up by my subs. It's no different than a general contractor getting all of his subcontractors numbers for a bid to build the house. So that is something that's not very popular with realtors because that's commission hits. So, and in the end, I work for you. I do not work for the realtors. I am very independent and I do this part time. I would, I would not want to do this full time. Um, I, I take great pride in what I do, and I work really hard on my reports. And um, I, they speak for themselves. Um, I only like to do about six inspections a week um, because I like to really take my time on my reports. Turnaround is about a day, and then return. I provide um, all my subs for you. I charge less. Um, I also do what I can to make it easier for you on your purchase of your home. Um, thank you for your time and I just want to show some of the uh, gadgets I have. I actually built two of these. I also have you know my whole stack of ladders. Um, and I hope I, I'm, I hope this video helps with your selection of me being your home inspector. Um, I think it's just uh, in the end I think it's the best choices are always ones who have actually built houses and um, I try to provide that. The knowledge I learned from my father and all my subs and engineers I work with who provide me knowledge that if I don't have an idea of what something might be, I have decades of loyal subs that I can call from the phone and get information right away. So it's not about what you know, it's about the access of knowledge you can get to 
get the information that's needed. So thank you for your time and uh, hopefully you give me a call and uh, book for an inspection. All right, thank you.